Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Love, Truth, and Wisdom Tarot Guidance. My name is Sharnana. I hope you all are having an enjoyable day so far. So today's pick a card reading topic is going to be what your heart wants you to know. So this is going to be about um, listening to your heart. I think it's really important for us to listen to our hearts, to trust our hearts, especially if we weren't taught um, growing up at an early age to really trust our feelings or trust or follow our hearts or trust what our hearts are telling us in that type of way or just our intuitive guidance, our soul, it's all combined in one thing. So, um, so yeah, so this is what this topic is about. So we're just going to be looking into messages as to what your heart has been trying to tell you. Um, you know, everyone's heart speaks differently, I, and in my opinion, and sometimes it's harder to listen to what your heart or trust your, what your heart is saying because, you know, our minds can kind of run amok and, um, can kind of overpower our hearts sometimes, especially like I said, if we're not used to following our hearts or trusting our own hearts or have if we've really been taught how to trust our hearts and stuff and follow our hearts. So yeah, so we're going to do a reading on that. So we're just going to look into what the messages are, what your heart is trying to say and how you can follow your heart and trust your heart's guidance. So we have four piles here today. Um, please feel free to pick more than one pile if you feel guided to do so. Um, there may be more than one messages in each pile that you need to hear um, because this is a general reading. So not all the messages are going to resonate with you and that is perfectly okay. Um, what else? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had a little brain freeze. So um, I am doing personal readings right now, so I'll leave that information down below if you feel guided to get a personal reading from me. Um, and then I just want to say thank you all who have liked, shared, subscribed, or um, comment, supported my channel in any way. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. I say this all the time because I really do mean it. I appreciate your support in any way you felt guided to support me and my channel. Um, I'm so glad that these readings are resonating with you guys and that they're providing you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation, whatever that may be. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, okay, I think that's it. So without further ado, let's get on to your reading. Hello, my first pile. So if you chose the pink heart with the ribbon around it, this is your reading for what your heart wants you to know. So, okay. I am going to start, I'm was really guided to really pay attention to this grief card we have here um and the accept what is dying also with the ace of cups reverse so i do feel like your heart is trying to tell you something some, something very important i really do feel like you are going through a difficult time possibly some type of heartbreak some type of grieving that you're doing whether it be a grieving of a lost loved one or loss in you know a form of a job or um someone died or um something is dying because we do have accept what is dying so you know hopefully it's not a close family member but i do feel like there's something in your life that is dying or you know transforming in a way that is leaving your life in some type of way and i feel like this is really weighing heavy on your heart right now so your heart wants you to know that it's okay to grieve it's okay to be sad it's okay to feel um vulnerable it's okay to um uh like miss someone if this is about missing someone it's okay to um i feel like or something it's okay to miss something it's okay to miss someone i feel like maybe you were taught or have been taught not to feel emotion not to be vulnerable not to express vulnerability not to be emotional when it comes to something that you really cared about and you really loved i feel like there's something here that you really cared about and you really loved whether this is a person a place or a thing but i feel like for some of you you could be afraid of sadness um afraid to be sad because you don't like the way it feels um so this is a really important message especially with the green this is heart chakra so this is really about your heart we have a lot of heart messages here well, not a lot but we have like the ace of cups is a very um, significant heart message and then accept what is dying so i really do feel like um this is about some type of love this is about giving yourself some time um to grieve to honor your pain i feel like you really need to honor whatever sadness whatever hurt whatever um um whatever pain you are feeling and really honor it because it will change your life you know with this accept what is dying i really do feel like this is about a death 
of like a rebirth of some kind you know looking at death or what's dying in a way where it's just transforming into something into another form basically so this could also be i'm getting for some of you you know this is grieving of a pet um but either way something is leaving your life or just transforming its form in your life and i feel like obviously this is going to make you sad and it's okay to be sad i feel like you don't get enough people in your life telling you that it's okay to be sad it's okay to be hurt it's okay to feel pain it's okay to feel like you know your world is coming to an end it's okay to feel all of these things and it's important you, for you to feel it because that's how you transform it that's how you change it that's how you that's how it changes your life that's how you're you'll be able to love again it's about giving yourself this time and to reveal what is really hurting you what is really upsetting you and not denying it um because people are telling you to deny it not you know suppressing it because people are telling you to suppressing it but looking at it from a different perspective in an honest authentic way because i really do feel like it's time for you to kind of take a look at what's hurting you this could be pain from like the past it doesn't have to be even a present pain but i am picking up a significant pain here that could be from the like past years it could be from your childhood that you wasn't um, really acknowledged or healed properly or it could be a, a, a pain that happened recently in your life like in the last week or a couple days or months or in the past year or something like that but there is some grievance to be had um, that you need to feel for your own benefit here is what I'm getting because I do feel like there's a new love there's a new form taking place on the in the horizon in your life if that makes sense so this is about looking into your heart and really getting in tune to your heart, which I feel like is something that may be foreign to you that you don't really like doing because, I, again, I feel like you don't like to feel pain. But if you don't feel pain, then you can't feel pleasure then you can't feel love because the two go hand in hand. It's like two sides of the same coin. Like, you know, that's just how it goes. So I do feel like you've been maybe holding yourself back from pain, but you're also holding yourself back from love in certain um, areas in certain places in your life from really truly expressing yourself in love from truly receiving love because you're afraid to like get hurt or you're afraid to hurt others so i do feel like that's a really strong message um coming through here um i feel like definitely you have the ability your heart is saying you have the ability to heal this is not the end all be all you have the ability to um experience true love but to experience it you have to feel everything you have to feel everything and be okay with feeling everything and know that feelings are just your guidance system telling you what you really need so when you feel pain it's telling you yeah you feel the pain but it's telling you okay i need to feel peace i need to feel safe i need to feel ease at ease i need to feel so it's about you kind of getting in tune with what you really need and what this emotion is really telling you because I do feel like there's like some deep healing that needs to happen, um, some hard challenges that you're facing right now, and you're suppressing this. Um, you're suppressing the pain of it because you don't want to feel it. But again, I'm getting like smooth sailing. So once you get past this, I feel like it's gonna be, it's gonna be smooth sailing for you. And also, we have the adversity card. So it says, accept that challenges are the best way to learn. You're going through a really difficult time right now. I'm feeling if you chose this pile and it. Your heart is saying, go through the difficult time, feel it. Because once you feel it, you can move past it. You don't have, to, you're not going to stay there. Your mind likes to tell you and think like, oh my God, I don't want to feel this and like push it away and push it down. And really you're just kind of, you know, not, not I don't want to say abandoning it, but you're kind of just, you know, anything you push away is just going to like come right back at you like 10 times fold, like 10 times harder. So it's best to just feel what you have to feel. And I know this is difficult for a lot of us to feel um, emotions that are uncomfortable, that make us hurt, that make us sad. But that's just hope. That's a part of being a human being is to feel. Um, it's, um, and I feel like a lot of society, um, there's just been a lot of desensitizing pain and not to feel pain when pain is just an indicator of what's going on with you and tells you how to fix it if you really listen um to the pain so this is about really like listening to the pain listening to your heart because your heart is speaking very loudly and it's speaking through pain right now it's speaking through difficulties through challenges and your heart is telling you this is how you learn who you are. This is how you grow. This is how you evolve through this pain. If we were always comfortable, we would never grow. 
you know, if we were always happy and cheerful, we would never evolve. So this is helping you to evolve and transform the way you think, the way you communicate, the way you act, and where you put your priorities and where you put your effort and your energy into. So this is really getting in touch with yourself um, first and foremost. So I really do feel like this grievance card is something for you to really, you know, look into and really feel the grievance because once you grieve, you can move past it. It's You never stay there for long. Now, how long you stay there is going to be up to you and your you know how your heart works and your soul works but it'll it won't be forever so you don't have to feel like it's going to be there forever but you do need to feel it because the more you, that you suppress it the longer it's going to take maybe to move past it perhaps so the quicker you feel it the quicker you get on it the more that you can move past it and you can learn from it and gain the wisdom from it and um you know know how to move differently next time when another painful situation comes up if that makes sense so in terms of like accept what is dying like i said i do feel like there's something going on in your life that is transforming now this could be in a different variety of ways and showing up in different areas of your life but this is just about something is clearly coming to an end some type of area um could have lost your interest and you're not really enthusiastic about it but whatever the case may be this is just saying it's time to surrender and let things end with grace by feeling your emotions by feeling what's in your heart and grieving and feeling the pain feeling the sadness feeling the uncomfortableness and learning to get comfortable being uncomfortable um this is about accepting the natural cycles of life and and death and and to admit what's presently ending and to be present on what's ending in your life and let go of something um, that maybe let go of a certain sentimentality and be honest on your assessment of things. So maybe you're holding on to something that is just sentimental to you because you feel like if you lost it, you would lose a part of yourself. Um, that kind of thing. So this is saying like, one, you can never lose a part of yourself. You always have you with you no matter what. And you're not anything outside of you. Everything in everything you need, everything you are is always with you, always inside of you. You've just adopted things outside of you to kind of maybe represent who you are in certain ways, but it shouldn't be in a way where um where if you lost that thing outside of you, you would like completely lose yourself. It's okay to be sad about it, but it doesn't have to be to a point where it's just like you're lost and you don't know who you are. If like, if it's getting to that point, I feel like, you know, there may be other things going on, like a lack of like sense of identity, to be honest, or um, just a, 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 a lack of sense of self in some way, which could be something that you deal with on a normal, on a maybe regular or semi-regular basis or that you're learning to deal with um but either way whatever's going on is helping you to learn how to be a better person this is for your betterment um and it's really important i feel you start affirming that because whatever you're affirming right now may not be helpful to you in allowing yourself to feel and to grieve and to accept and to surrender um this is about um no longer tending to things that don't grow like i was saying earlier about like placing your energy and your focus and your priorities into things that no longer serve you because we do have the two of pentacles in reverse showing up here so this is definitely about like finally making a decision about what deserves your attention what needs your attention and what doesn't this is about um this is a big change going on and i feel like you're going through a really big change right now and it's important to surrender and to feel this um and to not let don't let people make you feel bad for feeling is a really important thing here because I feel like maybe you've grown up or you've been taught or conditioned to kind of dance around feelings or kind of go around the bush around feelings or to kind of just hide your feelings really not be authentic in your feeling self and we're all feeling beings our feelings are meant to help us to guide us there are like I said there are guidance system it's nothing to be afraid of it's nothing to um to like I don't want to I don't want to say lie but it's nothing to hide basically it's nothing to be ashamed of and maybe you were ashamed of feeling when you were small as a child maybe you didn't um, grow up around the most feeling parents or um, guardians or caretakers or whatever the case may be but now you're an adult and you can make different choices you can make different decisions based on how you feel and learning about your feelings it's it's just a learning process i really do feel you're going through this learning process but 
I do feel like exciting and beautiful things await for you on the other side of this challenge. So this is about um, definitely a rebirth to another level. You could be ascending in some way because we do have the hangman here. So this is about ascending and ascending your your awareness and your level of consciousness about what you're doing and why you're doing it, how you're feeling and why you're feeling it and what needs are being met and what needs aren't being met that you need to meet within yourself. So this is saying like to no longer your heart is basically saying don't deny your yourself anymore. Um because when you deny your heart, you're denying yourself in a major way and we don't want to do that anymore. Um, and don't prolong something that is dying, trying to hold on to it. I don't really see you doing that too much, but you may, it's more maybe in just your approach to certain things or your actions or your communication style that you may be kind of holding on to that needs to change or you need to see the way you respond um, versus the way you react in a different way, if that's the case. But anyways, this is definitely about um, consciously allowing things to die naturally. Um, no longer running from your emotions, no longer denying your sorrow or your fear, especially like, you know, um, just what's given going on in the world right now. Fear is a really major key component in what's happening. And we want to try to ascend from fear and, and understand what fear is and understand why fear is um, what like, yeah, well, what fear is basically. And you know, we've all been taught just growing up in our childhood and, and just being conditioned through society and our parents, you know, to be afraid of certain things. And fear is not a bad thing, but when it's like controlling your life or when you're trying to suppress it and deny it, it can be, it can have like counter, counter, I want to say counterintuitive, no, counterproductive effects, you know, fear is just, you know, fear is an illusion. It's false evidence appearing real. So it's about knowing what fear is. And then I would say telling yourself a different story or, you know, if you're going to be fearful in some area or if you're fearful in something in your life, then on the opposite end of that, there's courage, there's bravery, there's things you can trust. Um, so yeah, this is about just reassigning yourself to divine, reassigning yourself to fully trust the rhythms of life and death and whatever shape, form death takes place in. And remember that what all that passes is only in a state of becoming something new. So anything that dies or leaves or transforms is only becoming a different form, is only becoming something new. So this is about telling yourself a different story to kind of soothe yourself. This is definitely a thing where your heart is wanting you to soothe yourself because your heart is really in a lot of pain and is really struggling to to it wants to express itself but you could be just repressing it or pretending it's not there um out of fear of being judged or fear of shaming yourself or fear of like feeling the intensity of so much pain that you've been suppressing for so long so i hope this makes sense and then with the adversity card here i do feel like this is about like i said adversity is about obstacles um but this is bringing you confidence this is believing that you will get through anything this is about your belief systems as well but again like i said this is confidence and confidence that you will succeed in conquering adversity and they won't stop you i do feel like this is an opportunity like i was saying for you to reach out to maybe your soul family your ancestors your spirit guides your angels because you aren't alone and this is a time in this time of challenge you're not alone you have support and help with you um I do feel like this is some type of test right now you may be going through. Um, and this test has come into your life to teach you to learn how to receive. Learn how to receive other than give. Because I feel like, you know, for you to feel this much pain or this much grievance, you have a big heart. And you may not always express this big heart or feel comfortable with this big heart of yours because you're afraid that people will take advantage of it or people have taken advantage of it. And it's just made you feel guilty or shamed for having such caring feelings such deep emotional feelings so you've kind of suppressed it in that way and there's always a reason why we do certain things so it's never it's never meant to judge or blame but it's more to be more aware and just be more conscious of why you do certain things because maybe you suppress your feelings because when you were a child you've shared your emotions and you they ignored you or they didn't consider your feelings so you're just kind of like okay well I don't feel safe expressing my feelings, feelings. And then you got the idea that feelings weren't safe to express because they were met with such opposition or such challenges that 
you know, it just scared you. So, you know, there's always a reason. It's something, it's like looking into those reasons of why you feel you have to suppress your emotions. Um, but yeah, so with the Ace of Cups, though, this is reverse. This is about nurturing, self-love, self-care, you needing to nurture and self-love and self-care and take care of yourself. You needing to um, learn how to be vulnerable and you know, I do feel like something major is ending in your life. We have like a strong messages of endings here. But this is about, you know, finding this inner peace. This could be, you know, past trauma coming up for you, for a lot of you. Maybe something triggered a past traumatic event in your life. Um, or whatever the case may be, this is just about clearing that past trauma. It could be ancestral trauma. It could be mental physical you know trauma whatever the case may be this is about loving your yourself and really getting in tune to your inner child because i do feel like your heart comes from your inner child um a lot of the times your inner child is just really strongly connected to your heart and your emotions and your feelings but when we neglect our feelings it's like we're neglecting our inner child and we don't want to do that anymore because it just causes more pain in the long run so you do have a lot of repressed emotions and um feelings of fear of being vulnerable towards people and towards yourself first and foremost so this is about you know ending ending certain like I said ending certain like ways you communicate to yourself you think about yourself you think about your emotions and your heart and your feelings because you're really feeling challenged in some area in your life and I feel like it's mostly with yourself clearly this is going to reflect your relationships with others but this is mostly your relationship with yourself because we have like single people in these cards so this is your relationship with yourself that you have to really accept what you can no longer um do anymore you can no longer hide your feelings you can no longer hide your heart the world needs your heart it needs more people who are loving who have big hearts and who give but you have to be able to give to yourself first and foremost give yourself that attention that maybe you desperately crave from other people give yourself that consideration that you crave from other people give yourself that you know, see yourself, hear yourself that you so much crave from other people. It's about filling your cup halfway so that the universe can m match that basically. Um, and it could be through people, through places, through things, whatever the case may be. But it's like, don't deprive yourself because once we get into that, that desperate place of like, you know, needing other people to fill our needs and then we're not feeling our own needs, our cup will never be 100% full because we're not doing our job. If that makes sense so um especially with this hangman this is about seeing that seeing the truth of the matter seeing the truth of you know your repressed emotions any vulnerability um really being honest with yourself with this hangman this is also about transitions and um transitions and sac not sacrifice but this can speak of sacrifice but i feel like you have sacrificed your heart a lot in situations where your heart doesn't want you to anymore you know maybe you sacrificed um expressing your feelings because you were out of fear um because you didn't want to upset anyone but really you just ended up ex ugh. Um, you ended up upsetting yourself in some way and your heart doesn't want to do that. You've really put yourself, I feel like, in a position where you're really in a lot of pain and it's not because of other people. It's just because you've really neglected your own self in some way, shape or form. So this hangman is also about endings as well. It's about um, ending old ways and releasing any restrictions that are holding you back in life. Um, it's a time for reflection in order for new opportunities to manifest. So you must be willing to end something to, you know, sacrifice something to gain something new. And this new thing that you're about to gain is a new perspective, a new way of being, like I said, a new way of prioritizing, focusing your energy on something that's more important. Um, but this is also about affirmations, I think, are really important to you. I think your heart really wants you to start affirming yourself in a different way. Start talking to yourself in a different way. Um, start um, seeing things from a new perspective, especially with this magic of pretending card here. This is about um, visual. It says visualize ideal situations, be detailed, play the part, see as manifested, speak it into existence and be certain. So this is about being certain about what you want moving forward you want to feel you want to love you want to give love freely you don't want to feel like this you don't want to feel pain you don't want to feel hurt but through this hurt and pain we grow and we gain new perspective and we gain new opportunities to love and to be loved so don't think of it as just you know something that 
is like a waste of your time of feeling pain and then that's it. You always gain clarity through pain. You know, you always see the truth of a situation through your heartache, through your um through your sadness. So don't think it's it's for all for nothing, you know what I'm saying? Um especially with the 7 of swords here, this is definitely about the 7 of swords is about deception. So it's your heart is asking like where are you deceiving yourself? Where are you lying to yourself? Where are you not being completely honest with yourself and others? Where are you betraying yourself, you know? Where are you being irresponsible with your heart and your feelings and your emotions and the way you're thinking? Especially with this trying too hard here, this is about um, you letting go and watching your emotions flow. And they'll just flow. Just let them watch, o wash, sorry, wash over you. Observe your emotions. Observe your feelings because they're trying to tell you something and they're guiding you to your happiness, to your peace, to your place of clarity and sense of well-being. This is about being more lighthearted, um, not forcing anything to happen, not forcing yourself to feel. But when you feel sad, feel sad. You know, when you feel happy, feel happy. You don't have to force yourself to feel happy or force yourself to feel sad about something that you're not sad about. And this is about really like not judging your emotions and what comes up, but really accepting them as they come up and then releasing them you know this is not about holding on to them and making them a part of your identity because if emotions flow and back and forth and emotions change every day all the time every second so this is about just learning about emotions learning about your feelings and your heart wants you to know that it's okay to feel whatever you're feeling at this time if you're feeling sad feel sad if you're feeling happy feel happy but don't lie to yourself don't betray yourself don't um don't escape try to escape from your heart from your feelings by distracting yourself with other things um but this is about really like setting the tone for inner peace within yourself and, and again with this two of pentacles in reverse this is really about like showing up for yourself in a different way absolutely and really kind of um there's a there's a thing here about being irresponsible with your heart i feel like your heart is saying you've been really irresponsible with it you have really been neglecting it and it has caused more pain than necessary so um your heart wants to say you know stop neglecting your heart <laughs> um there's a certain thing about like unpredictability here i'm picking up so like something unpredictable happened or learning how to deal with unpredictable situations um so I don't know if that resonates with you. But again, this whole message is just about learning to feel what you feel when you feel it and accepting what you're feeling and knowing that it will pass. You don't have to hold on to it. It's about seeing things from a different transfer from a different perspective, like I was saying, and transforming your whole perspective on what feelings, emotions and your heart is trying to say, because you are going through some type of challenge right now. And I do feel like this is really important and your heart really wants you to learn from this and not take it so personally, but to learn from it, to learn from the pain, to learn from whatever's happening, to learn from any deception that's happening in your life or betrayal or, you know, anything that's anything that people are like projecting upon you, learn from it because it's going to teach you how to feel. It's teaching you how to feel and it's teaching what you need through your feelings. So yeah i think that's what i see for you guys because i feel like i'm kind of repeating myself so this is what i see for you guys so i hope this was helpful or gave some type of guidance and clarity to your situation um if not feel free to pick another pile for additional information and messages um and yeah so thank you for watching i will talk to you all later take care hello my second pile and welcome to your reading if you chose the red heart emoji this is your reading for what your heart wants you to know so this is kind of similar to the first group um in terms of like the theme of like endings transformation and like a lot of uh pain going on a lot of sadness in your heart so the first thing i'm kind of drawn to here is this trickery card um this talks about fear this talks about fear of, of rejection and um because you're afraid you may be manipulated so i think this is a theme for those of you who picked this pile is that your heart is trying to tell you you don't have to fear um you don't have to fear anyone or anything first off um it's all just kind of past things that haven't been healed or acknowledged properly but you have really nothing to fear this could be in terms of a relationship 
um, that you may be thinking about going back to or maybe confused on whether to give someone another chance because maybe in the past this person manipulated you and kind of took advantage of you in some way really broke your heart or hurt your feelings in a really painful way where it kind of made you feel like you weren't worthy or it just made you feel bad about yourself but your heart is trying to tell you that all those feelings of feeling unworthy or um like you didn't value yourself or you this person um kind of overstood their boundaries wasn't something that this person did to you it was something that this person kind of triggered up inside of you because it was already there so these like painful fearful fears of rejections were there way before this person came into your life um i think this definitely happened starting in childhood like maybe your parents never really respected your boundaries or always or always like over overstep their boundaries with you and you never just learned how to make proper boundaries because you're afraid that people were going to be mean to you or that they weren't going to like you or that you just never learned what proper boundaries personal boundaries were and like how to set them properly so i do feel like this is a condition that you grew up in and around and i feel like that's what's ending here because you do have really positive messages in terms of like you being able to set boundaries your heart wants to tell you that you are able to set boundaries you can heal from anything you don't have to be afraid of rejection or abandonment or hurt yes those things may happen and will happen but you will always move past it you will always get past it because you are strong because you are a person of value a person of worth because you know now you know better now than what you did in the past because you can make better choices that are based on personal boundaries so your heart really wants to tell you to work on your boundaries work on learning about boundaries work on learning what boundaries mean to you what your needs are what you will and won't accept in relationships to everyone and everything because this trickery card is like it's also you know which is weird this this message of um deeply wanting to be loved a desire to be loved and to give love but you're afraid that you know boundaries will be crossed or you know you're gonna lose your sense of self in some way but it's that's not that's it's like you're placing what am i trying to say like all of that is not real you can't lose yourself in someone unless you consent to it you know what i'm saying you can't like you can't like blame this person for your lack of self-esteem unless you already had a lack of self-esteem you know what i'm saying so this is about really getting in touch with yourself getting in touch with your feminine side getting in touch with who you really are and what your needs are and really like meeting your own needs before you get into any type of relationship with anyone so this is really about taking time out for yourself and really getting clear about what you need what you want for you to feel safe secure heard happy and considered in your life and in your relationships because you know people are always going to you know hurt your feelings whether it's intentional or not intentional and you can't always you know place your self-worth and value on other people because we're all humans we're all gonna make mistakes we're all gonna do like dumb shit and like say dumb shit and do dumb shit to people because we're just we're learning we're still in this learning process we're learning we're growing we're still it's it's nothing to take personal and anytime someone hurts you it's never personal this person is you know probably and not probably most more than likely hurting themselves in some way and so they're just like that's all they know is to hurt you know and sometimes people just hurt people's feelings because not on purpose not intentional but it's just maybe the way they communicate or the way they love and it's not it's never personal so your heart wants to say to like maybe like learn how to learn how to depersonalize a little bit from other people's responses and reactions and things like that and and go within and really figure out okay so if this person hurt my feelings what do i need to feel better what do i need to feel safe around this person and really have that conversation because people don't know what you don't tell them you know what i'm saying like people don't know they hurt your feelings unless you tell them and explain to them why and 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 all of that and it seems tedious and it seems like you know maybe frightening for some but it's like if you less you tell them they're not they're never gonna know how to what your boundaries are what you will and won't accept in relation to them so this is about um your heart is really asking you to practice asking for your heart's desires um rather than fearing someone else's resentment towards you and i do feel like there's maybe a lot of resentment towards a particular person but i do feel like there's a lot of resentment towards yourself for not speaking up when you needed to for not taking care of yourself when you needed to for not putting yourself first when you 
um, needed to. And it's really about you, you know, hurting yourself first and foremost before anyone else hurt you. You know what I'm saying? So where were you hurting yourself for allowing to allow this other person to hurt you? And it's really taking an accountability and responsibility for your own emotions, your own value, your own worth, your own setting your own personal boundaries boundaries and making your own choices in your life. And a lot of this I do feel stems from like past programming because we do have this card here that says you get to choose your beliefs, recognize any false stories. You know, there's a lot of external conditioning that happened literally throughout your whole life. I'm feeling and you know some of those external conditionings weren't really your beliefs they were beliefs of other people they were beliefs of society of your parents your caretakers your guardians and you're just making choices based on other people's beliefs and that's where you're hurting yourself because you're not trusting your heart you're not trusting your heart's desire for a true deep connection and intimacy and love instead you're kind of going off this premises of beliefs that keep hurting you um, and keep you from not um, fulfilling your heart's desires. So this is about making decisions that support your goal. And you have to get really clear on what your goal is and what you need. So your heart really wants you to get clear about what it is you desire and be honest about it without fearing that you're not going to get it or without fearing that, you know, you can't trust people to give it to you because you can trust yourself first and foremost. And when you trust yourself, the universe is going to bring you people that you can trust. And you'll know it because the way you trust yourself, you'll be able to know whether you can trust another person. And I feel like there's a lot of confusion about what to do, what to trust, who to trust. And it's because it's all stemming from what's going on within you. You don't really trust yourself. So it's hard for you to trust others if you don't have trust in yourself that you can meet your needs, that you can hear yourself, see yourself, and consider yourself. So this is really something to reflect upon that your heart really wants you to understand that, you know, it's not all other people. It's more like what's really going on within you and you being able to trust your heart and listen to your heart about what your needs are and meet your needs so that other people know how to meet your needs. Because if you don't know how to meet your needs, then other people can't meet your needs. Um, so yeah, this is what this trickery is also talking about. So it's really talking about being honest um, fear of telling the truth because you're afraid that people won't like you um, and how this fear makes you manipulate others or place blame on others or, you know, it, just anything where it, you create some type of false story about why something happened just to make yourself feel better. And you're really not making yourself feel better. You're really just making your ego self your reptilian mind feel better um to be exact because your heart is still in pain because it's still not getting its needs met so whether you blame someone or not um if you're not like meeting your heart's needs and desires for self-care self-love boundaries um making choices based off what your heart is desiring then you're always going to be in this place of vain of, of vain of blame and like victim mentality and like all that other stuff so this is about really speaking up, especially with this Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is a no-nonsense type of queen. She speaks up when she, because she knows what pain feels like. She knows what it's like to be hurt. So she speaks up when it comes to her peace of mind because she knows she needs peace of mind. So she does whatever she needs to do to gain that peace of mind. It's putting up boundaries. It's respecting yourself. It's, you know, not engaging in drama-filled conversations or not engaging in anything that feels toxic or or just disrupts your peace and it's about really standing firm in that and trusting yourself that you can give yourself that so this is really about um and not manipulating others to give you that or making others feel bad because maybe they're being really dramatic or it really into like gossip and making others feel bad for gossiping let them gossip then if that's the case and then you can excuse yourself from the situation if you are not you know into that if that disrupts your peace in some way that's just one example but um, it's really about knowing like your personal boundaries and what you need to feel safe, secure, heard and considered, like I was saying. So you could be going through a difficult time right now, a trying time. Um, and things might be easier if you just really get clear on that and really um, maybe ask for help from like a from like a spirit guide or someone that you can trust, someone that is very wise, someone that knows a lot about boundaries and self-care and nurture and how to make decisions, how to follow um, your heart. I feel like there's some type of wisdom um, searching for you because you're searching for the wisdom, if that makes sense. So, um, and don't be disappointed if 
whatever help or assistance you're asking for doesn't come from the place that you expect it because you could have really high expectations is what I'm hearing and your heart is really asking you to shift your perspective and shift it, your perspective honestly onto yourself and the choices that you make and are they helpful to you and you know manifesting your heart's desire so we do have go with the flow here and I feel like this card it speaks about going with the flow in terms of let me see let me just like tune into it here this is about definitely going with the flow in terms of like allowing your emotions to just flow and and allowing them to wash over you and not taking them to heart not like really clinging on to on to them but this is about um hmm it speaks about because it's with the death card here i feel like something may have taken the turn for maybe the worst but there's like a silver lining around it if that makes sense so it's almost like when you think you have all your ducks in a row and then something upsets the status quo and things are flying and unexpected things are happening and unpredictable things are happening. This is kind of very similar to the first pile. So I would highly suggest you watch that. Um, a different theme, like I said, but the same type of message here. So this is about not letting unexpected disturbances um, disturb your equilibrium. Not... not um, letting unexpected heartbreak or pain or sadness really knock you so off course that you know you're fearing you're you're fearing everything basically so this is about your soul learning to go with the flow and 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 life's rhythm and realizing that life unfolds in cycles you know sometimes we're up sometimes we're down sometimes you know with the death card it says i'm learning that endings are merely new beginnings there's some type of ending but it also is a new beginning you can't just focus on the ending you need to focus on both honestly but how this ending is bringing about a new beginning so it's really calling you to like your heart is really asking you to organize respect and embrace everything in the flow of life except that you don't have influence like i was saying over outer events or how people treat you or what people say to you and do to you but you do have control over how you respond to people in these events and the more that you detach um the more that you detach and the more detached you are the more peaceful your soul will remain um no matter what happens you know because you trust yourself you have that trust within yourself that you will get through it that this is a learning um curve this this is a a, a challenge where you're here to learn to shift your perspective a little bit so this is about your heart really wants to for you to redefine your ideas of security redefine your ideas of respect and respect that there are forces beyond your control you know obviously you know in 2020 there was a lot of things that a lot of us did not expect and possibly took for granted and just a whole bunch of stuff going on but they were learning lessons they were difficult and they were sad and they were disappointing but they taught us you know what security really is they taught us what truth and honesty is really lying within us that needs to be expressed um that's part of life cycle so this is your heart really recognizing or needing you to recognize on a soul level that all experiences are part of your divine journey they all have gifts for your soul true security occurs when you stop wanting things to be a certain way is basically what your heart is saying and accept the way that things are accept that things are ending accept that there are new beginnings except that it will feel sucky yes but it will it won't feel sucky forever you know it won't feel bad forever because you trust yourself and you know yourself and you know that you're able to take care of yourself so this is your heart really asking you to really learn to take care of yourself at least 50 percent of the way and the universe will match it like i was saying um this is going after what you crave going after what your heart desires like when you're in pain your heart is craving peace when you're sad, your heart is craving joy and happiness and really figuring out how to give you those things so you can feel safe, so you can trust yourself, so you can trust that no matter what happens, you have yourself, you've got you, you know what I'm saying? So with this go for it card, this is about stepping outside your comfort zone, making new plans. Now is the time for favorable outcome and to be in alignment. It's time for you to get in alignment with what your heart is saying, get in alignment with yourself and really do something different, have a new approach, pick different choices 
choices that are based on what will make you feel safe and secure. But first, you have to define what safe and security means to you at a heart level. Your heart already knows. And I feel like your heart's been trying to tell you, but you've kind of just been picking other things to kind of distract yourself or, you know, to kind of um, a quick fix kind of thing instead of like a long term longevity type of fix. And the queen of pentacles is longevity and long term. She's not a quick fix type of gal. She knows it takes time to build trust, to build value, to have worth, to have things that are important to you and to continue to build on that consistently and congruently every day. So this is about really aligning with those things and making plans, making maybe a 12 month plan, a six month plan, a three month plan, a, a, a four week plan. Just make a plan for you to get your needs met so that you're able to trust yourself and trust the choices that you're making. And maybe put an end to making choices that are inauthentic to who you are, that are choices based on what other people believe you should be doing or what society or your caretakers believe you should be doing. This is about making choices that aren't, you know, feeding that reptilian egotistical part of your brain, but are re really feeding your soul and are in alignment with what is best for you in the long term. And then with the Queen of Pentacles, like I was saying, with the Seven of Cups, this is really about making choices of value, making choices that make you feel safe and secure, that you can trust yourself again. You know, this is this is a really, you know, very similar, like I said, to Pile One. But this is about having a different perspective, you know, gaining clarity, seeing the other side of things with this perspective card. Um, considering yourself, how do you consider yourself and how do you not consider yourself? And then make choices based on you considering yourself in the choice and considering yourself in the long run not just for short-term gain you know what i'm saying this is about um taking responsibility for your life for your actions for your money for your security and stop depending on other people to do so because other people weren't meant to make you feel better about yourself or your life or security and i know that becomes like a theme nowadays because it's become so like normalized to kind of push your ha or make this person or what am I trying to say? Like force this person to make you happy or bring you joy and stuff like that. But they're bringing you joy, but they shouldn't be filling your whole cup. You know, that should be something that you're already feeling within yourself. So I really do feel like it's time for you to um, or your heart is telling you to really take responsibility for yourself and stop depending on other people to make you like I said, make you feel better, make you feel safe, make you feel secure. And a lot of this it's just past programming, which we all have, me included. I'm still learning about and like unteaching myself a lot of past programming, programming that my parents have taught me um, that don't really real align with what my heart true desires is. That don't really align with what I know to be true within my soul and like my soul contract here and my mission here. So we all go through a lot of you know, conditioning that we have to unlearn, we have to unteach ourselves, we have to reparent ourselves in a way that's respectful to who we are on a soul level and who we are in our hearts and our hearts desire. So this is really about reparenting, reteaching yourself, picking different choices, ending bad choices, going with the flow of life and, and trusting yourself in this flow of life that you are always safe within yourself and really, you know, consistently learning how to make yourself feel safe within yourself so this is a practice this is something that's going to take practice it's going to take time but over time you will feel a lot better in the long run maybe in the beginning it's going to be a little difficult but in the long run you will always you will feel better i promise you this is really about just nurturing and taking care of yourself and knowing that in embodying the queen that you are you have two queens here so the queen of pentacles is about self-care and nurture and and responsibility and the queen of swords is also about responsibility but responsibility for your your mind and the way you think and the way you communicate and your perspective and making sure that you know you have peace around you that you feel safe with the people around you and if you don't then doing something about it and not doing something about it with like changing them or making them feel bad but you doing something about it like communicating what you need to feel safe or what you need to feel respected you know what i'm saying and if they don't meet your needs, then you know where you stand with them. And then you can like rearrange yourself or rearrange the situation to meet your needs in some way. 
So that is what I see for you guys. So I hope this was helpful and I hope this resonated. If not, feel free to pick another pile. Like I said, pile one was very similar. There may be additional messages in there for you. So thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you all later. Take care. Hello, my pile three. If you chose the white heart emoji, this is your pile for what your heart um, is trying to tell you. So, oh my gosh, so far, like all the piles have been like very grievant. So your pile is no different. So if you felt guided to watch number one or two, those some of those messages in those um, piles may resonate with you. But I do feel like this one has a little bit of a different connotation to it. So we're going to start with your grieve your losses card here. So I feel like with this, your heart is trying to tell you to allow yourself to grieve over whatever losses whatever you feel like you're losing in your life this could be a job this could be a thinking pattern because we do have a lot of thoughts here that you may be afraid to lose out of codependency or because it's just all you know so a lot of this could just be your thinking and like what you're thinking and your behavior patterns and stuff like that but it could be anything it could be a loss of a loved one it could be a job money whatever the case may be this is about allowing yourself to grieve over your losses your heart really wants you to try to get past the past um not to fear your chances for happiness that it won't come again but really know that deep down you have the wisdom to get over anything um a lot of this stems from your self-esteem i feel like your heart is really trying to get you to persevere and take new opportunities but you're afraid because of past situations um there's a lot going on in your life, I feel. We have like mayhem and crisis here at the bottom. So there's a lot of restructuring happening. There's a lot of blessed energy as well. But there's a lot of restructuring happening. Current issues are revealing a lot of past wounds coming up or just past situations are being triggered within you. But this is also triggering spiritual growth. This is also triggering um, new solutions and um, clearing space and clearing out the old so that the new can come in. So your heart is really saying, you know, life comes with losses and endings and it's important to accept this and not to dwell on it indefinitely um your heart wants you to learn from these losses so you don't repeat the same mistakes that got you here in the first place so when you let go you're never trapped and you're always free to create new stuff you're a co-creator with the universe you can create whatever you want um you don't have to feel trapped in because i feel like there's this thing of feeling trapped especially with this devil here feeling trapped like you're not allowed to move you're not allowed to do certain things or you can only do certain things there's some type of mentality here that's very um rigid and restrictive and limited to your growth so it's time to get rid of those thoughts or maybe those people or those relationships that are in your head or in or around you external to you so your heart is really calling you to grieve your losses and learn from your mistakes fully so that you can improve your creative endeavors you can improve this you can go after this new endeavor with this ace of pentacles here i see and you can attract what your heart truly is seeking out in life your your heart is really seeking out peace stability security growth um um having your deepest needs and emotions met solutions um you, a lot of answers i feel like your heart is really seeking out answers and you're not allowing your heart to seek out the answers because you're telling your heart something different you're thinking something different that's going against your true heart's desires so your heart is really asking you to allow yourself to be reborn to allow yourself to come out of this a new person to go through this grief process this loss process this transformational process and really go after what you really want give yourself enough time to express your sorrows you know for your losses and your heart really wants you to find acceptance and forgiveness for your errors in any type of judgment or conditioning or behaviors or codependencies anything like that it's a, your heart really wants you to feel all your feelings you know anger despair depression and then move on from it because there's new awaiting you especially with this ace of pentacles there's new opportunities for stability for money for financial security awaiting you so um your heart wants you to know that you know permanent mourning creates permanent loss and the future has so many gifts awaiting for you so you need to be open and curious and go discover them because there are new opportunities i do see that are coming into your um field here and i feel like a lot of this could be financial new opportunities but maybe you're you've lost so much financially that you're afraid of going after this new opportunity because you're afraid that you'll lose it again so it's about telling yourself something different thinking something thinking something different and just allowing yourself to feel what you feel 
allowing yourself to, telling yourself that it's okay to feel with your feel to feel what you feel but it's not necessarily true it's just a fear of the past and the past wants to the past could be coming up because it wants to purge it wants to be released but maybe you keep suppressing it and you keep ignoring it you keep denying it but it wants to come up so it can be released so that the new can come in and can bless your heart and bless your heart's desires for whatever it is in terms of this new um, opportunity whether this is financial or stability or whatever the case may be so with this wisdom here this is about um you know patience and acceptance your heart wants to tell you to be patient and to accept what's going on to not no longer deny it anymore um you don't need to prove yourself anymore you don't need to um pretend to be something that you're not anymore this is about allowing yourself to be who you are allowing yourself to to be this person who's been through a lot in life who's been through a lot of challenges you may have a lot of you know scars maybe like spiritual scars mental scars emotional scars but you're still a person of worth you're still a person of value you still have things to offer you still have things to receive you know and it's about telling yourself a different story about yourself um your heart also wants you to know that there um you have the ability to bring serenity to any situation and i feel like it's very much needed right now um in order for you to grow and move forward i do feel like you are your heart wants you to mature a little bit so you're growing into this mature person of really like following your heart and realizing and understanding like or asking yourself do you go with your heart or do you go against it and are you ready to be a leader i'm really getting a sense of leadership here like you're ready to kind of go one more time have the great fight and lead the way from a place of wisdom from a place of what you've been through um there's a really strong message here about a solution. There's a solution to your problems that's like right under your nose or right about to happen. But it's some like with this nine of swords and the devil, it's your thoughts that's keeping it at bay. Um, your thoughts of like you not feeling good enough, you feeling like maybe you're not wise enough, like you don't deserve it on some level. It's like your thoughts are really keeping it at bay and they need you to kind of open your eyes to this and see what you're telling yourself and really tell yourself, like I said, a different story and allow this good to come into your life because it's very much, um, it's a reward of some kind, but it's very much guaranteed for you. It's very much for you. Um, it's something that was promised to you before you even were born onto the, into this world. So I feel like with this wisdom card that you are like a chosen one to lead people out of this fear-based mentality because you know what it's all about because it's basically maybe for some of you ruled your whole life ab about how you think and why you think the way you think and they're all based in like lower vibe fear-based things or like really over like overly materialistic or like overly obsessive about something but whatever the case may be i really do feel like you're a person to lead people out of this to teach people about this because you've been in it for so long so i do feel like you're a wise person you're a wise counsel i think this is more just about focusing your energy and learning to focus your energy and your mental capacity and your intention on things that you want this is about honoring yourself your heart really wants you to honor yourself and um learn how to be content and learn how to transform because i feel like you're a very transformative person or you have the ability to transform a lot and you have the ability to transform a lot of people's lives but this is about also building your self-esteem your heart wants to tell you that it's time to build up your self-esteem you possess gifts of the soul that benefit yourself and others i feel like you are a truly a great benefit to other people in teaching them about um just lower based energies just fear-based mentality fear-based thoughts where they stem from where they come from how to deal with them because you're learning about this because you're going through this so this is about you using the wisdom of what you've gone through to help other people this is about um your heart really wanting to tell you that um to stay in the present moment and don't let your thoughts jump ahead of you don't let them get too out of control but learn how to be supportive of yourself learn how to, to support yourself in a healthy way um especially mentally like mental health i think is a really big key thing here because you have a really big heart and you have the capacity to teach others to bring peace and tranquility to others even if you don't have it in yourself all the time you really can bring this to others but just think if you brought this to yourself what you bring to others you would be unstoppable you would be like a force to be wrecking with a very great leader so with this self-esteem card it really speaks about you know let not letting 
the past get to you not letting trials and tribulations get to you not really being in this victim mentality of like why me why can't i do this why can't i do that but i can do it for other people if that's the case if that resonates with you but really understanding like why not me you know i am a very strong person telling your telling yourself that you're a strong person telling yourself that you can handle whatever life throws at you whatever the universe gives you because if you couldn't handle it the universe god source creator wouldn't be wouldn't give it to you you know and knowing that there's going to be new opportunities on the other side of this and i feel like the opportunities on the other side of you really listening to to your heart and the message of it is great of a, like abundance leadership security stability that is probably going to make you anxious and probably going to bring up a lot of more fearful thoughts but you have the tools to get past it and you have the tools to help other people get past it um and maybe you feel like you can't handle a lot of abundance or you won't be able to handle but all these are all like fear-based thoughts they're not real they're not true to who you are they're not true to your worth or your value or you know any type or any wisdom that you've gained through living your life i think you know a lot more than maybe you give yourself credit to and your heart wants you to be open to that and to be aware of the knowledge that you have gained through trials and tribulations through you know maybe being overly obsessed or having addictions or overcoming addictions whether this is addiction to certain thoughts behaviors food it could be anything whatever this is you have the opportunity to overcome it and to help people overcome it is the message here that i'm getting and then with mayhem this card speaks about manifestation is happening current issues reveal past wounds spiritual growth you just have to hang tight you are going through a difficult situation right now that has to do with what you truly want manifesting and i see this with the ace of pentacles but to get to the ace of pentacles there's like one more thing you have to do i feel one more thing you have to get through and it's a past issue that maybe has been popping up a lot in your life but you've been kind of ignoring it or you just don't want to deal with it it's like the last big thing before you get this new beginning so they're telling you your heart is telling you to just hang tight this is all about your spiritual growth you are growing so fast and becoming so mature spiritually that this eight of this ace of pentacles is really probably going to take you by surprise and really going to encourage you to be a leader and be an um to believe in solutions, to believe in yourself, to believe in the gifts that you possess that can help others. And then with this crisis, um, this crisis card here, it says restructuring, yeah, restructuring life, blessing within, clearing space, bring solution, see, deep, see the deepest needs and emotions. So you really need to see, your heart really wants you to your heart is in a crisis right now basically your heart is saying you know it's time to restructure your life it's time to restructure your thinking what you hang around who you hang around what you possess who you possess and what possesses you you know not allowing things to possess you you know the devil is very controlling and manipulative and it controls and manipulates through fear not out of love and it's really knowing the difference between those things you know um if you fear losing something um because you're afraid of uh, being your because if you be yourself or if you speak your truth you might lose it then you never really had it to begin with it's that kind of thing so your heart is really wanting to clear your space um your physical space your mental space more than anything and your emotional space um so that the solutions can come to you because there it really is a very abundant solution here that wants to present itself but you have to realize your deepest needs you have to realize your emotions you need peace of mind you need to be surrounded by people who are encouraging who are loving who are not manipulative who are not fear-based um maybe stop watching certain programs or listening to certain people on youtube or um certain television stations but really like um being really vigilant about who and what you listen to and who and what you allow into your um physical um space your mental space your emotional space and your ener energetic space and then with allowing here um it says relax enjoy yourself have faith allow situations to unfold answers are coming highest outcome you're gonna get the highest possible outcome here but it's more about what you tell yourself and the emotions that mimic or match that you have to start feeling and believing that you can do this that you can get past this that you are deserving of this ace of pentacles of this new abundant beginning that 
um, allow yourself to enjoy and relax and have faith that everything will work out. It's no self getting your caught yourself caught up in anxious and paranoid and fear based thoughts where you can't sleep at night or where you're so disturbed by maybe a lot of bad dreams because you're so scared of what the future might hold. This is about trusting that the universe has your back. Your heart wants you to know that the universe has your back, that situations are going to unfold to your highest um for your highest purpose, for your highest outcome, for your highest good, basically. So just know this and believe this. Start telling yourself and affirming this in your life. And it'll really like ease the pain of your heart. I feel like your heart is more talking about your head. I don't think, I mean, clearly this is affecting both, but this is more affecting your thoughts in your head um, because maybe of some like unresolved pain in your heart, obviously. Um, but either way, this is, it's all relative to what's going on. Your heart just really wants you to understand that things are changing and they're uncomfortable, but they won't be uncomfortable for long because it's bringing you this new beginning um, that you that you deserve, you know, for you to help other people, you know, for you to enjoy yourself, for you to um, have faith again in yourself and in your capacity to help and your capacity to to um to transform and change based on your new truth and your heart's truest desires whatever that may be so this is what i see for you guys so i hope this was helpful and i hope this resonated if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching and i will talk to you all later take care okay my last pile if you chose the yellow heart emoji this is your reading for what your heart wants you to know so this is a completely different energy from the first two piles which is really good i feel like your heart is kind of wanting to rest and just appreciate where it is appreciate where you are so your heart is really asking you to appreciate where you are be thankful for where you are be thankful for this life be thankful for the opportunities that you have had and that will present themselves in the future because we do have the three of wands here so new opportunities are going to be presented to you in the future so it's really important your heart wants you to know to be in this place of gratitude to be in this place of rejuvenation and gratitude and to really listen to your instincts moving forward thus far so i'm gonna start with this instincts card here so this is a wolf this is like my favorite card in the deck because i love wolves um this is about instincts guides awakening um doubting your instincts or not doubting your instincts or asking yourself do you doubt your instincts um this is about your heart really asking you to listen to what your heart is saying obviously listen to your instincts i feel like your intuitive instincts are really on point and that is how your heart speaks to you this is about mastering letting go and moving on to bigger and better things trusting your inner guidance um really awakening to who you are and what your heart really wants i feel like um, you're really being led by spirit. You're really your heart is leading you to spirit. I feel like spirit is very much around you all the time, always trying to guide you to what is best for you. Um, it's actually a really positive message, a very much more lighthearted than the other ones, um, than the other messages. But especially with this rejuvenation here, I'm still I'm like always drawn back to it for some reason. So I think this is a really important message as well. But along with the instincts, this is about knowing what you need to rejuvenate yourself, knowing what you need to feel better, knowing what you need to, to be in this more appreciative high vibe states, because we do have a high the high vibe card here. So this is about your heart really wanting you to know and ask yourself, are you doing too much? Are you leaving time to rejuvenate? Are you um you know neglecting your inner child are you judging your inner child um are you judging your inner child as irresponsible or unworthy this is about really looking into getting into your creative place getting into a high vibe place your heart really wants you to get into a high vibrational place and really focus on the future focus on the present and then focus on manifesting the future through the present if that makes sense because there is a lot of positive changes and and destined changes and fate and um a lot of things coming for you that um well, I feel like already faded that already for you anyways. But the more that you focus on what you're doing right now, the more that you'll see these opportunities come into your life rather quickly because of this Knight of Swords here. So this is about um, you really asking yourself again with this rejuvenation card, um, 
where you have been envious of people who seem to be enjoying their life um while maybe you're slaving away because we do have the eight of pentacles but i don't think you're slaving away maybe you're just really focused but this is about finding that happy balance your heart really wanting you to find this happy balance and it's calling to you to re-energize and re-invent re what's the word reinvent reinvigorate oh my goodness your spirit with um something recreational something fun unstructured time a vacation in some way a staycation in some way um because your well might be a little bit empty right now and um or if it gets empty they're giving you these um guides and these um this advice on how to rejuvenate yourself so that it stays at this high place so you can receive all the goodness that's coming for you so um this is time of renewal your heart wants you to know to simply really balance your work and play life because i feel like you either are at the brink of burning out or maybe have felt burnt out um you're just feeling really sad even though what you're doing you know what you're working on what you're focusing on is something that you really enjoy you just are really not motivated to do it if that's the case this is about finding something you enjoy or kind of just re um doing something recreationally fun to get your vibration to that place where you can focus and really manifest what you're trying to manifest because i feel like this group you're trying to manifest something important and it's on its way um for real like it's really on its way it's coming in fast but there's like some timing to it some some divine timing at play here so this is about your heart really asking you to value enjoyment don't limit pleasure to like once a week or once a year or one week a year but rather to spend one period every day really enjoying yourself doing something you enjoy this is about realizing that any resistance to stepping back or relaxing is really just fear trying to block your spirit basically so this is about listening to your heart not listening to fear um your heart wants you to know to fear to feed your inner self by going outside maybe or letting your body suck up so why can't i speak today letting your body like um take a bubble bath or trying to get some sun or some warmth some warmth on your skin this is about your heart really asking you to um kind of heal what's out of balance because i feel like you're paying too much attention to work and not enough to what you enjoy you may enjoy your work but what you really enjoy without having structured time around it so the more you give yourself time to rejuvenate the more success you'll attract um and it's about really telling yourself that narrative instead of the narrative where you have to work 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 to get where you need to go because that's not the full truth of it you know society and maybe how you grew up and your conditioning really emphasize like overworking overdoing things for you to get what you need and that's not the case at all it takes a lot of rest healing rejuvenation maybe doing nothing or just doing whatever you enjoy to kind of get that balance so that it, the divine timing can kind of bring in what it wants so the divine can bring in what it wants for you so this is about your heart really asking you to really um see what your thoughts about around you know having fun just a period a day instead of like maybe like i said once a week or something and really relaxing maybe watching netflix for a day or not netflix for a couple of hours because it'll really attract what you're striving for um and sometimes doing nothing is the most important powerful action you can take honestly because it lets the divine do the rest it lets the divine work out everything and like kind of having that balance of like letting divine work and then you working and divine and then you and the divine and then you and like really trying to find that happy balance that happy medium if you know what i'm saying um and a lot of this is just about gratitude and just maybe writing in a gratitude journal and like listing things that you're thankful for in this life and like that you're thankful for things to come because i do feel like a lot of good fast abundant things are coming but the more optimistic you are and for you to be optimistic you have to be in this high vibrational place because the universe speaks through frequency and vibration so it's really important for you to get a hold of gratitude rejuvenation rest healing and not overemphasizing work or or productivity in some way you know not um just really allowing yourself to be in this natural flow of being and like working and like when you want to stop stop and when you want to do something fun do something fun instead of like over structuralizing your life and like your stuff because you're afraid that if you don't you won't get it it's promised to you you're gonna get it regardless um whatever's for you will never miss you it's kind of having that mentality so with the high vibes here it says surround yourself with positivity connect with yourself source 
um, listening to like maybe meditation music or frequency music, any music that helps you be hype or helps you get in a good mood or makes you feel really good about yourself and really happy and makes you um, feel like one with the universe and one with yourself. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be meditation music. It could be listening to um, Nicki Minaj or something or Drake or any of your favorite songs that you like to listen to. Anything that just gets you in a good mood. Um, I think is really important to kind of embody and integrate into your day-to-day routine Um, because we do have paradigm shift here under the three of wands and it says new experiences are integrating now materialization growth expansion progression cycles and changes under the three of wands is really positive your heart wants you to know that things are coming things are changing all your hard work is about to pay off but it's time for you to relax right now and let the universe step in and do its part because there could be a tendency for you to overwork or over put too much energy into something and the universe wants you to have fun and keep your vibes high so that they can bring it to you so that that synchronistic you know co-creation type of thing can happen and you can gain and you can gain what you've been wanting for or what you've been working for for so long but just know that new experiences are on the horizon um they're integrating right now and you know whatever you're working on is materializing and it's helping you expand it's helping you change fast changes are happening but it's really important for you to be in the present and to be in this place of gratitude and rejuvenation and then with specificity oh my goodness specificity oh i i can't i can't even say this word specificity oh my goodness why can't I say this word? I can't speak today. I'm so embarrassed. Okay, don't judge me. But this other card here, I'm not even going to try because I I can't stand hearing myself struggle with words. So um, this other card here under the Knight of Swords is um, speaking about the universe can only give you what you ask for. So this is about narrowing it down, being as specific as possible to what feels good. So this is about being um, really specific about what you're trying to accomplish step by step, little by little, so that it can come to you in the right manner, in the right form, based on the divine's timing and plan and what, how the divine wants to bring it to you. So be specific as possible. Um, um, be specific as possible as to what you want. Um, really pinpoint it, really narrow it down and know what feels good and what doesn't feel good. Because like I said, like it said, the universe can only give you what you want. Your heart knows what it wants. It's about listening in and you can only listen in through like peace, quiet time, meditation, rejuvenation, just spending time with yourself and really um, spending time connecting with yourself and connecting with source. Then your heart can really pinpoint what it is you're trying to get and it can tell you um how to get there the fastest way because i one you're already on your way there anyways but how to get there even faster how to like manifest it like right now at this very moment so it's about instincts and being specific and being in this place of gratitude and really connecting to yourself really paying attention to the energy you're putting into your work and realizing if you're putting in energy based off fear based off you think you're not going to get the reward that you need or is it based off fun and gratitude and high vibes and you feeling good about yourself and you really knowing that everything is for you anything that's for you will never miss you so your heart really wants you to know that that what's for you will never miss you just stay in this high vibe place as um as much as possible basically because the universe the wheel of fortune here is already turning in your favor um this well card is all about like change and like abundance and growth and um also being about being specific and looking out into the horizon and knowing that change is upon you your heart wants to let you know that change is here change is happening it's already integrated into your life so you are shifting realities you are shifting paradigms you are growing you are expanding um and your heart just wants to tell you this and reassure this to you and not make you and to tell you not to fear or worry about it just have fun to enjoy yourself to be appreciative of where you are and the new opportunities that will come because you have a lot coming to you so this is really really positive stuff so i'm gonna leave it here um i hope this resonated thank you for hanging in there with me during that very um 
awkward time of trying to say the word i still can't even say it it's crazy okay anyways thank you for tuning in um thank you for not judging me <laughs> and i really appreciate you guys for watching um if this resonated if it didn't please pick another pile so thank you so much and i will talk to you all later take care